know, they're taking time out of their day to watch your videos, no matter how crappy they might be. Oh, get shanked, son. What's going on, TGN FPS viewers? It's your boy, right? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. Wow, I completely forgot about this one. Um, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Just had to laugh at my girlfriend's fail. Yes, my girlfriend. She plays video games. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's up, TGN FPS viewers? It's your boy Ray, better known as Still Live HD, here on the tube of you. And what I got for you guys today is some Battlefield 3 gameplay. Uh, the market, I forgot the exact name of it, I'm sorry. We're playing some Rush. It was a pretty rough game starting, but towards the end, we ended up just scraping these guys. And, I don't know, it, it was like a 14, 15 minute long game, but just flew by and yeah guys so what I wanted to talk to you about today is networking networking and getting your channel noticed you know pretty much just getting your name out there in this huge huge or I guess better say vast sea of commentators now first things first promote your channel guys the way you do so is go to other commentators that are Think of it almost as a game of chess. You have to think about how you want to go about, who do you want to, you know, try to, not not really mooch off of them. You know, I'm not saying doing it out, just do it out of interest. You know, that's, it's kind of bull. But, you know, find people that you know will help you and that, you know, you're willing to help them out. So, I'll tell you guys a little bit about how I started getting a little bit of, uh, a little bit of exposure and all right so let's get it started so I made my channel about eight months ago I think April or begin almost the beginning of the year I know that's a couple months in but bear with me and I created that and you know I had, previously I had a channel that had like over a thousand subs but I it had a clan name in it and I wasn't a part of the clan anymore I decided to leave and I didn't want to carry that name around you know it kind of felt like a little burden and I started fresh and I wish I hadn't just due to the fact that I got those subs easy so easy because there weren't as many commentators doing the things that we do nowadays because you know uh, equipment is getting cheaper and cheaper well it's getting more expensive but the older stuff is becoming cheaper like the HD PVR when I bought it was 250 bucks alright cool now now you could get a brand new one for like a hundred sixty a hundred fifty bucks if you know where to look the the what is it snowball the mic that one was 150 you could find it for 60 bucks now if you know how to look but anyways I'm getting off topic so I had started that channel, got a couple of subs, you know, my friend, excuse me, subs, and my friend Jeff from work, who I actually got him into the whole commentating thing, I got a couple of guys started commentating, I got a few of them going, and you know, since I had left the other channel, they're like, oh, Ray, you need to come back, you need to do this, you know, you're good at what you do, and you know, I wasn't feeling it, because I had just gone through a, a rough breakup and all that, and I was like, I don't know if I want to do the whole YouTube commentating thing again. And I, you know, I guess you can say he convinced me. And right then and there, I started getting subs. And he had had his channel for maybe three, four months. And I had uh, passed him in subs. I think he had maybe like 30 subs or so. I passed him in subs in a matter of weeks. And he's like, oh, dude, what are you doing? I was like, I don't know. I'm just being my random energetic self. So, you know, one thing led to another. I hear about this uh, community channel known as Game Reviews and More, or Graham. Now, that one was actually great before, but let's just say, make a long, a real long story short. It was a great community site, but it fell apart. Uh, that's where I got a lot of subs. I'd say I got at least 200 of my almost 400 subs from there. And I'm talking maybe in like two months with only 
two, maybe three videos posted. So that that's one way you got to get yourself out there. Don't just spam messages on videos, on random videos saying, hey, go check out my channel, blah, blah, blah. You, that's looked down upon. But, you know, get the word across. If you can find a community channel that's willing to put up your stuff, I'd say go for it. Any opportunity that shows up, go for it. All right, so the next thing is I made a video for another commentator, NASA1, who's pretty well known, I guess you can say, you know, not Hutch status or Grizz status, but pretty well known machinima director, and he was doing this opportunity thing for about a month or so. I sent him my video, I forgot about it, like a month later, he uploaded it, and I gained almost 100 subs right there. And I'm like, holy shit, and you know, you just gotta get exposure, like I thanked him and everything, and it's just real real cool you know when these opportunities arise and you're able to reap the rewards for it and then after that I got lucky enough to become part of TGN the you know this channel TGN FPS I love playing first-person shooters and I got accepted as a director here that was just awesome that was great I've gotten subs off of it because this we are YouTube pretty much, you know, way. We are a community, I guess you can say. And, hey, that rhymed. <laughs> oh, well. But I'm getting off topic yet again, guys. So we started getting sub subs off of this. Um, I know I gained a couple subs from being here. And I know that TGN FPS has gotten a few subs from my viewers as well on my personal channel. And, I don't know guys, it's just definitely a good way to go. You gotta get your start somewhere. It's very difficult to just not take part in communities or in ways of getting noticed. Now, I know you guys are probably like, Ray, this has nothing to do with networking or any of that. Yeah, it does, guys. Networking. This is where it gets uh, fun. Twitter. Everybody and their mother uses Twitter right now. So you should create an account, you know, link it with your YouTube and all that. Get your name out there. Talk to people. You know, if they don't want to listen to it, they'll just block you or they'll just disregard your message. All right, it's going to happen. You got to keep positive about it. You, It's going to be rough, guys. Like, my channel ha has had its ups and downs where I'll go up 30, 40 subscribers in a matter of, hours or maybe a day or two and I'm like oh this is awesome this is awesome then all of a sudden boom hit a plateau now people that work out you know go to the gym and all that know what I'm talking about with a plateau where that's pretty much where you're at a standstill there's no way look at my little fail into dead end I would have gotten lit up I go and you just don't gain any subscribers no matter what you do you post videos you put your name out there you don't get anything for days. I've had moments where I went almost two, three weeks. I think my last plateau was when I was at 283. That damn number. I was stuck at that number for a good like two weeks. And look at look look at all those little revives. I'm a good medic. <laughs> and you know, then I started gaining subscribers from that NASA video. Also created a Facebook page. That's another thing you should do. Create a Twitter account. Uh, you know, I guess name it with your channel or something that has to do with your channel. Then create a Facebook page. Either you can create a whole new account on Facebook or you can just create a fan page with your own personal profile and just work off of that. Now, the only problem with that, though, is um, people are not... Well, you, you won't get the notifications if you're using a different email. I have my personal email, and then I have my, my uh, still live HD email. And the only downside of making a fan page with your personal is you won't be able to get the... Because my problem is I have two different email accounts. I use my primary on my Facebook, and I created the fan page on my primary. Now, everything else is linked to my phone, you know, with my still live HD. So I get emails, I get notifications on that. So when people 
notify me on the Still Alive HD uh, fan page, it kind of sucks because I, I'll have to go through the mobile on my phone, you know, through the internet there, uh, swap over to the page to read as an admin, and respond to stuff. You know, it takes just a little bit more work, but it is what it is. You know, uh, I try responding to everything when I'm on break at work. That's another thing, guys. If you're putting your name out there, you're getting noticed. You have... I cannot, I cannot emphasize it enough, guys. You have to talk to your subscribers. You know, you got to communicate. I'm not saying spend hours upon hours reading through messages and replying to everyone because I've tried that and there are times where your videos will get so many messages and just can't keep up with it. It takes like a good hour or two just to put those messages up to par. And it sucks, guys. It really does suck. But you got you got to know how to go about communicating with your subscribers. You know, make them you show them that you appreciate what they're doing. You know, they're taking time out of their day to watch your videos, no matter how crappy they might be. Oh, get shanked, son! Just take time out, guys. Uh, you know, just talk to them. Get your name out there. Create the pages. It's frustrating, but you got to keep your head up, especially with new commentators coming out every single day and new community channels coming out every single day you you gotta just keep your eyes open look for opportunities and that's pretty much it guys that's all I can say to you guys it's if you do montages you might get noticed a little quicker than the rest of us like I do small edits every so often but you know nothing crazy nothing like Phase Agony style. <laughs> I know, I'm just name dropping. I'm sorry, guys. No, hopefully nobody's offended by me using their name in this commentary. And just, you know, guys, keep at it. Don't force yourself to make videos. Uh, I've been there two or three times and it sucks. I've taken a couple days off. I just did that this past week. Took a couple days off, you know, come back fresh and. I'm feeling re-energized. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for war. Got to start commentating a whole lot more, which I have been doing. And definitely expect to see my name up in your sub box uh, a little bit more often, I guess you can say, just due to the fact I'm going to be posting a lot more gameplays for you guys here. And please rate, comment, and subscribe to TGN FPS if you guys haven't already done so. As well as head over to my channel if you like the content. Let me know what you guys think. And I guess that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I went like 22 and 6. Head over to Twitter, follow us, and just, you know, come communicate with some of us uh, directors. All right, have a good one, guys. Peace!